Ooh, think I got a brain. Well, it's safe to say that autumn's on its way. Black breeze. Some of the trees are actually, or at least the leaves are turning brown already. But what that does mean is it's time to target big bream on the Jurassic Coast. It's normally at this time of year, end of August, September, October, and even into November, that the bigger bream tend to move in within casting distance anyway. So I am just off down to Winspit Quarry this evening. I'm spending the night there with the camera equipment and my lure rod. And then tomorrow I am going to head towards Seacombe Quarry to fish a mark along there where I've had some decent success over the years landing bream to just shy of three pounds but I know they've been caught there up to four pounds so that is a target of mine to catch a four pound bream you never know might be tomorrow might not I think I found the camping spot for tonight. Nice set of flat rocks around here, just below this cliff up here, so it'll protect me from the wind a little bit. Not that it's supposed to be that windy tonight. Well, that's the camping spot sorted for tonight. The only problem is a bit of a drop. So I put a few rocks there to stop me rolling off the end. It's not actually as high as it looks. I think it's more of a broken arm as opposed to a broken back. If I do fall off, so it should be alright. Carried out a risk assessment. Ooh, that's about. It's about four, half past four in the morning. It's actually pretty cold. Definitely a bit of autumn in the air. Ooh, it is chilly. It didn't take long, first cast and I've had a bite on my right one already. I think I may have missed it. So it was a bite in the end little pout. Not the species we're after, but at least there are some fish out there. Oh, think I got a bream. Oh. 
think I missed it. Oh. Oh. Well, it was probably about half an hour or an hour before I think about packing up. So annoyed that I missed that bream now. Not had a sniff since. Really frustrating. I don't think I've ever wanted to catch a fish more than I have right now. Oh my god, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. This comes off. It can't work if it's still on there. Oh god, this is stressful. What oh, fishing was supposed to be relaxing. I've literally just sat there. I've been sat down for about three hours looking at motionless fishing rods. And all of a sudden I could just hear tap 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 turn around. The rod was going absolutely nuts and now just nothing. Oh man. Come on. Here we go again, take two, bream hunt, same spot as last time, only difference is I'm fishing bit much bigger tides this weekend, it's actually a week after the first part of my video, been counting down the days since uh, last weekend's events and unfortunately missing what was probably two bream, at least one of them definitely was. I just had a bite, I knew it wasn't a bream, the way it well, initially I did think it was, to be fair, but after a while I could tell it wasn't because it just stopped biting. But yeah, nice little pollock. Not not the target species, but still an awesome species nonetheless. So yeah, I'm just going to get it back, get a bait back out there and hopefully find a bream. Absolutely stonking bite on the right rod. This could be it. Oh, please, please. Hooks bass, God, I was lucky to get that up. Jesus. Whoo! Hey. Oh. I'm in again, another stonking bite. Pretty sure it's the same one. Oh dear, where are these bream at? Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's got to go down as another bream fail. Not the end of the world, did catch a few species, but not the target. However, it's still early in the year, so I will be back. 
for part three. So keep an eye out for that one.